today we are going to be covering maps and scales and we're going to be doing a bit of measurement towards the end as well so we are going to be beginning with maps and scales we do have a question from claudia and it's maps and scales and if you just go down we've got the bags that we've been given there with the different types of maps and different types of scales and if you look at the first one that we've been given over there you can see that we've been given a bag which is small and then a bag which is bigger as well and the great thing about this question is that we've been given a number scale and we've also been given a bar scale so there's two types of scales that you are going to find that you do need to be able to use so if you look at the first one it's a number scale it says to us that it's one is to 15 second one as well is one is to 15 and what you need to always remember about the one is to 15 is that the one always represents whatever measurement is on the paper and then the 15 that's next to it represents the unit which is in real life so we are going to be doing number one which says to us measure the width of the bag in diagram one and use the scale to calculate the real width of the bag the width i always say to you um, that the width is the shorter side so this would be what our width is going to be and then this would be our length so our width we'd use a ruler i'm going to use a ruler with the paper that i have currently with me um, the width that we have is approximately 1.2 and because the width is 1.2 what we are going to do just going down what we're going to do in terms of that is that we're going to write our scale which is 1 is to 15 and because our width is 1.2 along those lines centimeters it means that we need to calculate the real life and the real life is going to be our x over there i know math literacy learners don't like using x so i'll use anything possible whether it's a b whether it's a b whether it's a c you decide what you want to use basically so in this particular case i'm going to use an x don't be too scared and i'm going to use a little method that i call cross multiplication and what we do with cross multiplication is that we will go over there and we will draw our arrows and then we will say 15 times 1.2 that 15 point that 15 times 1.2 we are going to divide with the one that we did not use so we go over there and we divide it with that one that we did not use meaning that we are going to be solving for our unknown let's see what it is going to give us my calculator over there 15 times 1.2 which is going to give us 18 centimeters because I am using centimeters sometimes um, you could choose to use millimeters you could choose um, because your ruler will give you millimeters and it will give you centimeters the best thing that you could do for yourself is to use what your ruler has so I am using a ruler that's giving me centimeters and millimeters and in this particular case I choose to use centimeters so whenever we are asked a question like this we need to always remember um, that we have to have the same unit of measurement on the left and on the right so it means that in real life this suitcase is going to be 18 centimeters let us go to the second question so if i look at the question over there it's just a bigger bag that i have been given and because I've been given a bigger bag, I go and I measure it. So if I am measuring it on the paper, it's going to give me two centimeters. That means that on the paper, it's two centimeters and I need to convert it into real life. So if I am given one is to 15, being my scale so one unit on the paper is 15 units in real life 
then I am going to put my two centimeters over there and I am solving for X. Cross multiplication, as I mentioned before, I cross multiply the two that do exist with each other, which is going to give me 15 times two. And I divide it with the one that I did not use over there, which is divided by one. It's a nice and easy one because we've just been given one. So I'm not gonna really gonna use my calculator for this one because I know that 15 times two does give me 30. So it's gonna be 30 all over one. And that is going to give me 30 centimeters. This means that the width, it means that the width of this bag, so the width of the first bag is 18 centimeters in real life. And you always need to make sure that these questions make sense to you, because if it doesn't make sense to you, um, then it's not going to make sense to whoever that's marking your paper as well. The beautiful thing about math literacy is that it's always questions that are in real life. So an 18 centimeter bag, does that exist? Does it make sense to you? A 30 centimeter bag, does that exist? Does that make sense to you? Let us go over to the next question. So the next question says to us, measure the school bag in diagram two and use the scale to calculate the width of the school bag. We've already done that, beautiful. What do you notice about the answers for one and two? So what we notice about the answers for one and two is that this is number one and this is number two. So because it's bigger, it's going to also be bigger in real life. The, the, the second bag has been extended. It's been made bigger. Beautiful. We actually answered that even before we were asked. What do you notice about the answers for one and two? We've answered that. Measure the width of the school bag in diagram three. Okay, now we are moving away from number scales. And just before we carry on, I'd like to make a big highlight that when you're doing number scales, do not write the unit of measurement. And the example that I'm gonna make is that if, for instance, um, I've got one is to 15 as I've been given, my answer cannot be one um, is to 15 centimeter. So that is not allowed. It is not allowed. Your number scale always needs to be nice and clear. So it's going to be one is to 15. Let's go to our next question. So the next question that we have been given over here is that we need to measure the width of the measure the width of the school bag in diagram three and use the scale to calculate the width um, in real life. So it's all about moving from the paper and moving all the way into real life. Let's go and look at whatever that we've been given. They are the same size if you look at them. Let's just go and see that. This bag is almost the same size as this bag. So what I am going to do for you um, is that I'm going to basically use the same type of measurement. So I'll take my ruler again, and after I've taken my ruler, I have to go into my bar scale. And if I go into my bar scale, I am going to go and measure the bar scale. So if I measure the bar scale, it gives me again around 1.2. So very nice. And if we can look at it properly, the 1.2 um, is equals to 15 centimeters. Let's go down. So 1.2 centimeters. And as I mentioned before, we are not allowed to use our um, units of measurement when we're doing maps and scales. So don't do this, okay? Don't do this. So it's 1.2 centimeters is to 15 centimeters. And what you shouldn't be doing is what I'm about to erase right now. I mean, you, you write it for your own comfort, but it will be marked incorrect if you do decide um, that you want to write your units of measurement. So we are given 1.2 is what I measured, and 15 um, is then what is in real life. So now, what are we going to do? We are going to convert it again. We're going to convert our width again. 
how do I convert my width again? I'm taking my ruler and I'm measuring my bag. And if I take my ruler and I measure my bag, there we go. So 1.2 and then I'm there now solving for X. Which is going to be 15 times 1.2 divided by 1.2. There we go. So if we go and we calculate that, it's going to give us, oh, there we go. So 15 times 1.2 gives us 18. But in this case, we then divided by 1.2, which will then give us 15. Meaning that this bag now, um, using the scale that we've been given is moving from that 18 centimeters and now we are getting this 15 centimeters. Let us go now and calculate using again the bar scale we've been given um, to calculate the last bag. This is the bag that we've been given over here. We need to use this scale over here which means that we take a ruler and we measure from here to here, which gives us our measurement. So we can see that it's from zero is to 15. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So we know that if I, if I go and I measure it, that gives me one centimeter all over again. So one centimeter that I've measured, one centimeter is 15 centimeters again. And then if I go and I measure my bag in real life, it gives me two centimeters. So then I know that two centimeters on the paper, I'm measuring again, cross multiplication, 15 times two, all over one, which then gives me 30 centimeters. So we can see the slight similarities between the two questions, whether we've been given a number scale or a bar scale. And like I said to you guys, it always needs to make sense. Let's just go up and see if we have covered all the questions that we've been asked over here. What do you notice about the answers for four and five? I've already mentioned that. The answers for four and five show us that there isn't too much of a difference um, in whatever that we've been given in the first question and whatever we've been given in the last question. Remember, it always needs to make sense to you and your answers um, have to be relevant. And look at the answers that I've given down here. 30 centimeters, your unit of measurement is extremely important. It's not given as a ratio over here. If you are writing it as a ratio, it cannot, it cannot have your unit of measurement. So it means that the only time you can have your unit of measurement is in your final answer. And if you do not have your unit of measurement, you will be penalized for that. So always look at how many um, marks you are being given for the question and then go in.